All right, I got all the lines laid out. Getting ready to start running them here in about 15 or so minutes. And the tide is way, way low. So I don't really know what to expect after Sunday. I mean, even though the bait was super duper old, like I'm just not 100% sure what's going to happen here. But the tide, I got a good southwest wind. So I like that. And I'm going to be working the incoming tide all day. So I like that as well. So go ahead and start running them here in about 15 minutes and see what happens. All right, so I just ran the first line. I let it soak a little bit longer than normal. And to be honest, I was kind of scared to run it, that there wouldn't be any crabs on it. I mean, you put everything you got into this and you know, it, it's all contingent on crabs coming up that line. and. Just the fear of there not being anything kind of held me back from running it for the first time but okay so I ran it the first time and it was my first it was my best first run of the year got three crabs so one real real nice one two nice ones to you know they're still real nice good number ones but a lot of people something they don't get and it, it has to do with crabbing too and trolling your speed and your presentation, they have, if you're rolling along and you're trolling and you're going with the current and you're going three miles an hour and the current's going two miles an hour, then your bait's only moving through the water at one mile an hour and it ain't going to look right. You know, there, there's, there's some of that to do with this too. You know, a lot of people, they don't think about that kind of stuff when they're running their line and their speed and how important it is. I mean, not with the presentation, but just that in general. Like, it's a, it's totally different out here as far as your, your speed is concerned. And there's just, there's a lot. There's a lot to this stuff. But anyway, I'm getting ready to jump on this second line. All right, I don't know what I don't know what happened there. The camera just shut off, but that was my best second run of the year. Also, got got six crabs on that second run. So getting ready to go over here and run this other line, see what happens. I'm getting ready to run my third line for the first time. The first two runs have been the best first runs of the year. So let's see what happens here. All right, 605, and that was definitely my first, my best first round of the year. And by round, I mean running three line, all three, three of my lines. And I'm getting reports on my phone of a terrorist incident in freaking London. Some idiot ran his car into some freaking stupid. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call these crabs out. I just can't believe how stupid people are. Seven and a half inch.
Got 11 of them. Got 11 good ones. First round, 11 crabs. So, I'm, I'm happy with that. And hopefully it'll keep on like that. Alright, second round, caught 18, so I almost doubled my first one, got way over a half basket, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and start on this third round. The sun came up, as you can tell, and the wind picked up, it, it's a little much, I wish it wasn't quite as much, but usually do a little bit better when there's a little bit of wind, this is about good wind and from the right direction for good crabbing. If you get a cut or something on your hand out here, this is the only way to fix it. So I got a cut on right on top of my finger, I guess that's a cuticle. You gotta put just neos, neosporin on it, and then piece of paper towel. It's the only thing that'll fix, that'll actually stay. And then you just wrap it with electric tape, like so. I mean, cause they're serious freaking bacteria and stuff out here that can kill you like there was a guy not too long ago in New Jersey who got flesh-eating bacteria he was crabbing just you know just playing around catching crabs to eat with his family and stuff and he had a cut on his ankle and he was in that nasty water and the freaking you know the the flesh-eating bacteria got him. I mean, that's horrible. You know, he was retired. He was just out trying to have a good time. And he, you know, had all that happen to him. So you got to keep your cuts covered. It don't matter how small they are. You cover them with Neosporin, paper towel, and electric tape. And then you don't got to worry about it. All right, it's a tiny bit after 9. And I went ahead and I moved one line. 
Uh, it's not going good now. I don't know what the heck happened. I don't know if I caught everything up that was here and they're just not pushing back in here or what. But, I mean, it just it dropped off to like nothing. I mean, it's bad. I've got, got a good over half a basket. I mean, it just dropped off to nothing. I just caught this big, huge crab. Go ahead and measure him real quick. It's a big one. I mean, the crabs are nice, but it's definitely over eight inches. That's a nice crab. So, it's going to keep going. If something don't change, I'm going to go ahead and start pulling up. It's weird how good it was this morning. And I mean, that kind of makes me think I might have called everything that was here up. That's why I moved that line. I don't know. We'll see.